Mr. Ray, one more time, I have to warn you, I'm going to just hold you in contempt. Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and this clip comes from Judge Stacia Buchanan at the 54th District Court in Michigan. She has a defendant in her courtroom who is extremely late for his court appearance, and he just happens to be hammered. And I mean really hammered. You can tell. And he's wearing a mask, and I think he's wearing the mask so nobody will know or no one will be able to smell the alcohol on his breath. That's my thought. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Okay. On the record in state of Michigan versus Robert Ray Sr. 2302831 SM, 2302830 SM. Assistant Prosecutor Abigail Pepper appearing on behalf of the people. Jacob Riley on behalf of Mr. Ray. And you, sir, you are Robert Ray Sr.? Yes, I am. You're originally scheduled to see us at 11. You weren't here, so uh, you held your files. Okay. I'm not trying to make an excuse. So when I came, I showed a transfer. I'm a veteran. They didn't want to give me a transfer. The train held me up. I got to hear show the after. Excuse me, Your Honor, but I was here, like you said. Mr. Show Ray? up. I did the payment plan, Your Honor. Excuse Mr. me. Ray? Yesterday. Mr. Ray? Yes. Yeah, you're talking over me. Have you been drinking? I'm not. No? I'm an alcoholic. So you've been drinking today? I'm not. No, your I speech drink. Is, yes, I your drink. speech is slurred. So I don't I... have my teeth, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay. No, your your demeanor and your presentation indicate to me you might be under the influence, and I have to have you be making good decisions. So I am. I'm going to have to reschedule your hearing, and I need you to show up sober enough to do business. Okay. I can't do. I can't have you making legal decisions under the influence. So you need to show up here with a clear mind so that we can make decisions about what to do. Okay. Mr. Ray, you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Riley, should I set this for a second pretrial or jury trial? Second pretrial, Your Honor. No, jury trial. Want to set it right for jury trial? Yes. Okay, you'll have to be here on time, ready to go at a jury trial, no excuses. And sober, because we're not going to do a jury trial if you're under the influence. So what, what cases do you have, me? Two retail frauds. Retail fraud, second degree. Retail fraud, third degree. Does one of you want to talk to me about uh, a trespassing thing? Wait, wait. No, today's not trespassing. Today's retail fraud. But do the same judge, right? No, Your Honor, yes. yes. You right. may have other cases, but today is regarding retail frauds. He has a trespass case in the 55th district. And, uh, yeah, and a jaywalking. When I talk, I got everything documented. Mr. Ray, I'm going to have to enter, enter a court order for you not to drink alcohol if you continue to behave this way. Jury trial it is. This jury trial will be December 12, 8 a.m. Mr. Ray, you must show up that day in person, on time, and sober enough to proceed. Can where you send it and notice to? I got well, we're the gonna print it. Okay. We're gonna print it and hand it to you. We're not sending it no, anywhere. No, I need to send it. Yeah, I'm nope. homeless. I, we have to hand it to you. But we you, have to hand it to you, Mr. Ray. One more time, I have to warn you. I'm gonna just hold you in contempt. You are not in charge here. I am. And I'm trying to be kind to you because I think you're drunk and I could just put you in jail. I can PBT you. But instead, I'm trying to give you a new court date and give you some instructions and let you go about your day and come back here sober. Mr. Ray, you've been handed your court date for December 12 at 8 a.m. on both these files. I expect to see you that day with a clear head so we can proceed to trial. Understand me? Yeah. All right, you're free to leave. Sir, 
I can just live my attorney when I'm Mr. Ray, just keep going. Just go, please. I can do it. Just leave. Leave quietly. It would have been nice if she held him in contempt because he was just mouthing the whole way, even out the door. They were trying to push him out, you know, just leave before you get thrown into jail. And one of the questions I have is can they will they treat an alcoholic in jail because i know that you can't if you're an alcoholic you can't go cold turkey without drinking because it can kill you so just just a thought i had do they treat them while they're in jail at least at the beginning so that they don't you know go into seizures and and die just a question i had if anybody knows let me know Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time.